so last frame 5000 um, we change our position to that one rotating going upward looking downside and keyframe and I think frame 4000 go backward look downside and that's looking good keyframe so that's a real really complicated animation uh, that's also a problem yes our camera is stuck in the wall so change that one move it forward so that's our animation as you see really complicated and it's going downside maybe I will change also also that um, point here because he is getting um, slower so change to the inside and maybe we can delete that keyframe so that's right here select that click on end or deleting <laughs> and that's looking quite better so switch to our camera and let me see how it looks he's going downside and I think that is a really complicated camera which works uh, which is really smooth and I think it's harder to get that in Counter-Strike with Campus as in Cinema 4D so next step is we have to capture or export that cam motion for Half-Life Advanced effects and therefore we can use the um, plugin Cinema 4D to Half-Life Advanced cam so, firstly I have selected my camera, so your selected camera object is camera and we have to use that 90 degree fix because we have worked with a wrong map rotation. So we have worked with BSP viewer. Don't forget to check that and now click on OK and define your path. So that was, for example, that one and I call that motion nuke click on save and let's wait in. so the capturing or exporting is finished and we click on OK and we see our motion nuke b4h file and I will copy me that path so copy and go into our normal Counter-Strike open with Half-Life Advanced Effects and I have a prepared HLTV demo so after that start event I will add another stuff text event um, for starting in comment so the comment is Murf cam import lord and then our path to the b4h file copy and paste that comment click on ok we go to our start event which is some seconds before that importer and click on play and watching so that's the camera we had from our cinema 4d and as you see this one is really smooth and very complex. So I hope the tutorial I showed you was interesting for you. And yes, that's it.